was on its way out I wasn't sober and I was thinking out loud I spoke of your bravery, your wit and audacity Of coming over and letting go of it all Please move everybody I hope that you're all doing all right welcome back to my channel now today I haven't got anything massively planned we are going to be doing some baking and I think we might go for a walk depending on what the weather's like we're just going to see where the day takes us we're going to spend some quality time together but before we do I have something really exciting that I've been wanting to share with you since this brand reached out to me last time. If you are new to my channel, you will not know that in February I had my hair extensions taken out for it. We went on a holiday and I didn't want to get them ruined, so I just had them taken out and I've been putting off having them put back in again because I have been waiting for these, my new hair extensions. This part of today's vlog is very kindly sponsored by Irresistible Me. If you haven't heard of them, please go ahead and check them out. I will link the description in the box down below. I have had the opportunity to work with them before and I was absolutely blown away with the product that I got. Again, I will link that in the description box down below as well so that you can see it was a wig. Now, I know some of you might be like, oh, wigs. But I have worn this now several times when I've been out and people are like, oh my God, you've changed your hair. Your hair looks really nice. And I'm like, I know, because it's a wig. And I had to choose a wig last time because I had my proper hair extensions in. However, this time, in order of putting off having my other hair extensions back in, I have been able to get myself my own clip-in hair extensions. Irresistible Me have been known to win awards. They are featured in Vogue and The Cosmopolitan. Celebrities have also been seen in them. They are all 100% human hair and they have such a wide variety of colours, styles and can suit all different hair types really. And if you are considering the clip-in extensions or new to hair extensions, they also have a little quiz that you can take as well. So it guides you to the right kind of hair extension for you. So they come safely packaged in this tube. They also, very important to know, give you a little tester sample so before you open your hair extensions make sure you use your tester first because if you open them and don't like the color or it doesn't match you can't send them back so always make sure to use the tester first so this is the sampler that you get sent which is quite a big amount and mine was in the shade 613 which is light blonde they also have two options to choose from as well which i can't remember seeing on any other website that i've bought hair extensions from i could be wrong but i can't remember i'll put a picture on the screen just so that while i'm explaining it you can see there are two options to choose from regular which is stitch base and invisible which is silicone base i've chose the silicone one which looks like this so you can see the silicone there and i chose it because it is 50 percent thinner so it sits better in the hair mine are also 14 inch in length i thought because my other hair extensions were i think 20 i didn't want to have as long hair for my clippings. You also have the option to choose extra volume, which I did, and that has actually gotten me 40 grams more of hair. And I believe if you go for the 16, 18, and 24 inch, you get an extra 60 gram of hair. And then with the 28 inch, you get 40 grams again. So let's get them out because I actually haven't got them out yet. I've been waiting to do it with you guys. I always try and wait. Okay, here we go. So they come in this little bag, which is really handy because all my past hair extensions used to be all over the place. It's nice to actually have a bag that I can put, put them in. That was just the added extra clips there. Hello. Here we go. Now, look how much you get. You get so much hair. I mean, added, add that one in as well. It is so thick as well. It is so soft. Now, again, if you haven't ever put clipping hair extensions before, it's really handy because the website actually has a guide on how to put them in. In comparison to hair extensions that I've bought in the past, the extra volume is 100% worth it. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to stick all this on my head. I'm just going to go and get my clip. Okay, clip in hand. I'm sure the majority of you know how to put hair extensions in. I thought I'd just 
show you anyway. Two little clips, and then section your hair, and then easily place them in. Now I'm fully aware that my root colour is obviously not the same as the hair extensions, but I will be getting my hair done, so the majority of the time it will be the same. And then you just continue to section and clip in, and I'll probably see you once I'm done because there's a lot to get through. And there you go. Beautiful long hair. I love it. I really do. As I said, you might be able to see the actual extensions in my hair because my roots are still dark. Once those roots are done, oh yeah, I feel like a new person again. The quality, as I said, is so good. The hair itself is so thick. I also think the match is pretty good as well. As you can see, I haven't actually styled them yet, but I'm kind of liking the flicky, bouncy look. What do you guys think? With my proper hair extensions, I like to kind of wait a month in between having them taken out and having them put in again. These are going to be such a lifesaver for that period of time when I don't have the other hair extensions in. I mean, guys, please just go and check the website out. They are very reasonably priced as well. You're not actually paying that much for the extra volume, but I really do think it's worth it. And I mean, when these are styled, they are going to look so nice. If you are considering getting yourself some of these clipping hair extensions, I have a 10% discount code for you, which I will leave on the screen now. It's all capital letters I M underscore Elizabeth. And as I said, it will get you 10% off your order, which is even better. So thank you again to Irresistible Me. I'm so happy with my product. I'm so happy with how it looks. <sighs> I never want to take them out, but moving on, we are going to be doing... <gasps> I've just had a notification to say that my tea new order is on the way. If I've got time, I will show you what I've bought, but we are going to be doing some baking, specifically cookies, which have a 50-50% of turning out right, knowing my history with them. And as it's Easter, I thought we'd make some mini egg Easter cookies. So we'll go and get all the ingredients ready and I will see you in a second. I don't know where she came from, kind of turned me upside down, I just don't know what to do. I wanna spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t-shirts so it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about. And I just wanna tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love There's something about the way she laughs And the way she always dances When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just want to tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath When you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love Okay, so the cookies are done. <laughs> I always have such high expectation of myself when I do these things. Oh, I should lower my standards. So, because in previous baking vlogs, my cookies went everywhere or they didn't stay or whatever, I came up with the idea for using cookie cutters for one of my autumnal vlogs and I thought, Do you know what? 
I'll go out, buy some new cookie cutters for Easter. So we've got like a bird, a rabbit, we had the carrot in there, an egg. They'll turn out absolutely great. <laughs> Honestly, there's no point. I mean, you can't see them from here, but I'm actually embarrassed to show you. Great designs. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, <laughs> what is that? That's not a carrot. I mean, that one slightly resembles a rabbit. Not really. No idea. Carrots just look like socks. Well, I don't know what they look like. The eggs are just look like cookies. And then <laughs> the ducks. I mean, we lost a limb, but you wouldn't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, dear. They look like they're going to taste great, which is the main thing. So as long as they're tasting all right, I'm happy. We've got to try all these things, don't we, guys? Yeah, I am going to go for a walk. It's a bit murky, but it might cheer up. So we're going to go for a wander down a local lane. Never been all the way down there before. I think I have taken you part of the way in one of my very early vlogs. We're just going to have a little walk around the village, go down the lane. We might end up at the sea if I can find my way. Who knows? But while these are cooling down, I think it'll be nice to go and get a bit of fresh air. So I hope you enjoy.
so we have about an hour, hour and a half until we have to go and pick Alfie up. So I'm going to channel my inner old woman and I'm going to kill that time with doing some cross stitching. I love cross stitching. It makes me feel so relaxed and time just flies when I do it. Now, even though I have started about five different patterns, I'm one of these people that I get frustrated sometimes because it takes so long to do, especially like kind of the ones that I've bought because they are quite complicated. It just annoys me that after like three or four hours of doing it i've probably done like a little section like that but i've bought a new one it might be quite hard to pick up on the camera because it's very white and gray that is what i'm going to be doing to kill some time and then we shall go and pick up little alfredo and see what he thinks to the misshaped cookies <laughs> Okay guys, I thought before we start on dinner, I'll just show you my Timu haul. I've been absolutely loving Timu recently. My jumper that I've got on today is from Timu. My jumper last week was from Timu. This is package one of two. There's not loads. This is going to sound a little bit crazy, but my sister found this website where you take a quiz and it tells you your season. I think like what season you are and what colors suit you best i'll link that website down in the description box below but i'll also put a picture on now just so that you can see but it tells you what your best colors are what your worst colors are it's made my life a lot easier with trying to find clothes i'm actually going to completely chuck a lot of my stuff out of my wardrobe because i found so many more nicer things that i'm actually really enjoying wearing so as you will have seen with me i am cool summer was I cool summer? I think I'm cool summer. So like a lot of pastel colours. They do have neutrals and darker tones as well, but I've been mainly trying to focus on pastels. So I bought two jumpers, a top, a kind of coat cardigan and a bag. So we'll start off with the jumpers first because I've got one on. So yeah, this is the first one, which I'm really liking. I think it fits quite well. I'm really loving this green. Secondly, we have another green jumper. <laughs> cute as they it says let's root for each other <laughs> i love it because they're all roots here comes little man what do you think no don't touch it don't touch it don't touch it ah! i've got a new camera stand which is why we've got plenty of new angles this week okay so this is this one on oh my god that's so sweet i'm like i love this as soon as i saw it i can't remember how much everything is so if you are interested i think what i might do is just put the link to all of the bits in the description box down below because editing is going to be tight this week so i'm not going to have as much time to do it so i shall just link everything so they were the two jumpers and then i bought this and it looks to be hello again oh okay so this is a lovely jacket really nice it's got a flowery print which actually i think my thing said that i shouldn't actually have flowery prints but <laughs> let's break the rules a bit mm. okay let's see struggling to be able to see it i mean i really like it i really like the color of it i really like the pattern of it i don't know if it's just a bit too big what do you guys think please let me know because I'm not very good at this kind of stuff. I'm 100% not a fashionista. I really like, uh, no, oh, I don't know. I just think it's a bit, a bit big, isn't it? I mean, I don't know whether it's supposed to be more of a coat. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to check it in the description. I have to admit, I think I might keep it anyway because if it's a bit colder outside, but I want to wear it, I've still got plenty of room to put a jumper on underneath. So yeah, I think I might keep it anyway. Finally, finally, I'm not going to put this one on, but it's just got fungi on it little tiny mushrooms which i thought was quite nice i won't need to put on because i know that that will fit mm, really happy with all them oh hey hey <laughs> is that it yeah oh okay thank you for your input what do you think to the bag good good oh is that all good what do you want to see in it the next we have this little bag it's just a little 
backpack thing. I thought it was really sweet because it had flowers on it, but it's got netting over the front of it, which I didn't realise. But to be fair, I actually quite like the netting. Yeah, that's my team new order for now. We are going to go ahead and start on dinner. It's not that exciting tonight, guys, I'm afraid. Very quick and simple. We are having, and I'm probably not the best for me trying to lose weight either, we are having tuna pasta bake, which is one of my all-time favourites. However, I'm not normally a fan of using the jars. I like to use the packets. But could we find any packets at Tesco's? No. So we're having to use the jars. We'll get cracking on with that now, and I will probably speak to you after dinner time. Take me back to when we were kids and they didn't care if we were acting stupid Cause all we had was eyes If I close my eyes and think about us I can see the person I know I should be Cause honestly, I don't have no time to waste I'm trying to come back to you because now I see We weren't meant to be So it's a couple of hours later since I last spoke to you. We've had dinner. Alfie is now up in bed. He's having his 10 minute play. Pajamas are on, candles are lit, and I'm ready for an evening of editing. I have to admit as well, going back to those hair extensions, I've just taken them out. I haven't put my hair up yet, but in a minute I will. And that is the one thing that really grated me with having my permanent hair extension things in. Just the ease of just taking them out and just being able to put my hair in a messy bun. I could still do that with the other hair extensions, but it just wasn't as easy as just being able to take them out and put my natural hair up. Please let me know your honest opinions of what you thought and how you felt they looked on me because I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm really impressed with them. Like, really impressed. Once my hair has been coloured again, they're going to look so good. It is really making me consider having my hair extensions put back in again. As they are human hair, you can wash them, you can dye them, you can straighten them. They're just like normal hair. So I really don't know if I'm actually going to get them put back in again or not. I'm going to see how the next few months go with them. Trial them out a bit more. But yeah, I am just so impressed. Anyway, today has just flown as well. I love doing this, but sometimes days can be quite long. But today has just, honestly, just just gone. But it has been so nice spending time with you. I really hope that you've enjoyed the vlog. Can I just say a massive thank you to the 30 plus subscribers that I got last week. That's the most I've had in a week for a little while. So I'm so glad that you enjoyed it and enjoyed it enough to subscribe. Thank you so much. And I really hope that you've enjoyed today's vlog. If you are new here and haven't seen any of my content before, this is generally what I do day to day. So if you have liked it, please do me a favour, please subscribe, please hit that like button. If you've liked it, we've got plenty more of these types of vlogs to come. Thank you as always to everybody who has already subscribed. I value you all and I love you all so much, as I say every single week because I do. I probably keep saying this over and over again, but it is like talking to friends and I just love your faces. So I hope you all have a lovely week and I shall see you soon. Thank you for watching and take care of yourself guys. Bye bye. You can have some relaxing music over this. Yeah.